Yes, my dear friends, in this lesson we will write the necessary codes so that we can print text on our LCD screen. As you know, we made our connection in our previous lesson. Now let's open the Arduino IDE. So let's click the Arduino app. And as you can see, here is the our source code section. And also, as you know, we added our library. So our library is liquid crystal underscores I2C. Let's come and include our library. So let's write here include liquid crystal underscores I2C dot H. And as you remember, here is the our I2C LCD screen library. So let's continue. If you want to use our LCD screen, the action we need to do is to call a class in our library. Our class name and library name are the same. So let's come here and write liquid crystal underscores I2C. And of course, we need to give our class a name. So let's put a space. And for example, let's write my underscores LCD. Here is the our LCD screen name. And also we need to open parentheses and let's close the parentheses and also do not forget to use semicolon. And then let's move inside of our parentheses. We will enter three different parameters inside of our parentheses or my LCD parentheses. Our first parameter will be the address of our LCD screen. In general, the address of I2C supported LCD screen is 0 x27 so that is the our LCD screen address and then let's put a comma and also we will enter the second parameter our second parameter is the number of columns as you know my LCD screen columns is 16 so I will write here 16 and of course our last parameter is our row count as you know our row number is 2 Therefore, let's define the value 2. After introducing our LCD screen, we need to start our screen in the setup function. Our required method to start our LCD screen is the begging method. Before we write our code inside of our setup function, let's delete the, our command. And also, let's call our LCD screen variable. So, our variable name is my underscores lcd and also put a dot and let's write here begin and also open and close parentheses and let's put a semicolon if you do something like this we will have started our lcd screen so now let's continue what we need to do now is to specify the position of the text we will print before printing the text on our lcd screen and also this is done with the set cursor command so now let's move inside of our loop function and let's write here my underscores scd dot set cursor and also open and close parentheses and let's put a semicolon and let's move inside of our parentheses we will enter the two different parameters here our first parameter will be our number of columns and also our second parameters will be number of rows so if i write here 0 comma 0 this is the our beginning point of our lcd screen and also let's move to a new line and now let's write the text if you want to write any text on our lcd screen we have to use print function so let's write here Firstly, let's call our LCD screen variable. So our LCD screen variable name is my underscores LCD and also put a dot and let's call our print function and also open and close parentheses and let's put a semicolon and let's move inside of our parentheses. Let's create double quotes here and let's move inside of our double quotes. For example, let's write hello world 
All right, we are done. So now let's verify our code and also let's save our file. For example, let's write here my underscores LCD and also let's click the save button. And as you can see here, the compiling is done. So now let's upload our code to the Arduino. And as you can see here, the uploading is done. So now I will share my camera with you. And as you can see here, we have successfully printed text on the LCD screen. So now let's continue with our next lesson.